Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to create and customize a video mosaic from your mosaic project. So to begin, we're going to navigate to the video tab. Now, before creating our mosaic video, it's really important to note that you cannot start this process until you have made it to the explore page with your mosaic project. Video mosaics can be shared on social media, uploaded to YouTube or Vimeo, and can be used as an addition to any presentation. The first thing we're going to do for our video mosaic is to select an animation style. Now you can preview the animation styles by simply hovering over the different boxes. The direct build, reveal, zoom and explore, and scatter build all share the same customizable elements that you can get into after selecting your animation style. Our feature build, which you can see here, has several additional features that we're going to cover after we kind of go through how to put together a direct build. So let's start off by selecting Direct Build. Next we're going to move on to a background color. So you can select between our white or black background color, as well as picking a custom background color, which you can use with a specific hex code or by playing around with the color palette here. For our tutorial, we're just going to go with a white background. Afterwards, we're going to move on to video duration. Videos can be anywhere from 15 to 60 seconds as you can see here on the slider bar. If you're looking for something longer than 60 seconds, you're gonna to need to reach out to our team and work with one of our animators. For the purposes of our tutorial, I'm just gonna set this to 15 seconds. And then our last option is gonna be our soundtrack. To preview soundtrack, you just simply hit the play button. And then hit the play button again to pause it. For our tutorial, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick um, Serenity. So now that we've created a direct build, and this these features will be the same for the reveal, zoom and explore, and the scatter build, like I had mentioned earlier. However, when you go into a feature build, you'll notice that we have some additional elements that we didn't have previously. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to select some of our featured content. So I'm just going to go ahead and select a few images here. And now these images can be swapped around within the Featured Cells tab. So there's, any, there's no specific order that you have to set for these photos. And you can have up to 90 featured cells for your video. And these images will be the featured content cells that you see in the animation preview. If you have additional images that you would like to use that aren't in your cell library, you can add those images in using our Add Content tab. Next, we have our Featured Content Focus style. This will determine the start point for where your featured cells come into frame. And you can preview these by hovering the icon button. For our project, we're going to go with a wide-angled featured cells. And then finally, we have our Featured Content Enhancements, which will dictate the animation that your video mosaic shows when it completes. And once again, we can preview that by hovering over the icon. So we have a flash and we have a ripple. For our tutorial, we're going to use both so we get the benefits of each animation. And then we have the same customizable elements as we did with the other animation styles. So we can choose a background color, a video duration, and a soundtrack option. For our tutorial, we're just going to keep all these the same. Once you're satisfied with your video mosaic, you're going to go and hit the Create Video Preview button. So now that our video mosaic has rendered out, we can preview that here. So once you look through this, if you aren't satisfied with how your video came out, you can hit this Remix button to go back to the video creation page. And there you can edit the different aspects of your video mosaic into different combinations until you have something that you're satisfied with. And every time you remix or create a new video, you'll find that version of the video in this gray column here. So you can always go back to older versions that you might like in comparison to what you're working on now. So now that we've completed our video, we can go back to the home page. And that'll wrap up our tutorial on how to create a video mosaic. 